When discussing our transition to become a type 1 civilization, it's often understood that we would have complete control over all the energy systems on Earth. But people rarely consider the energy that's powering us, and it's our food. Since a calorie is an essential energy for humans, and it comes from the planet, we would likely harness the full potential of our body's fuel, just like the other energy systems on Earth. So sit back, grab a snack, and prepare yourself for the future of food. Now it's no secret that Earth has a pretty wide variety of things to eat, but for most of human history, it wasn't like that. Droughts, diseased crops, and hand-plowed fields were the norm, but our agricultural output has exponentially increased over time. Unfortunately, it still may not be enough for the population of a type 1 civilization, which will necessitate a shift in how we grow our food. Large-scale hydroponic operations will be key to feeding the world in the future, because it will allow for 24-hour growth conditions, bring the food closer to the consumer, and conserve natural resources. A type 1 farm will likely resemble an Amazon warehouse, where automation will drive the production of produce, and all operations will be nestled in the middle of cities, instead of the rural lands we're used to seeing it in. This will ensure that less emissions are released in transit, and the food grown will have more nutritional benefits since it's delivered fresh. How fresh your food is will be extremely important because you are what you eat, and understanding our energy sources will be a critical need of a type 1 civilization. Every day it's pretty likely you visit one of these. And as that flush starts, you can say goodbye to the strongest indicator for disease. That's because your gut holds 80% of your immune system, and your poop is like a letter full of data that your stomach periodically mails out. A type 1 analyzes all types of emissions, including ours, and by essentially having a smart toilet that records your daily excrement, people could finally understand what nutrients they're lacking and what bacteria is busy multiplying on a daily basis. These doctor toilets, if you will, could be the single greatest form of preventative medicine and provide customized dietary recommendations. Even with an artificially intelligent toilet, managing health may still be challenging for some. The availability of fully fortified foods will fill the gap for people who don't have access, meaning a single food item could be engineered to have all or most of the nutrients you need for a whole day. For the general public though, let's say Dr. Toilet or whatever is offering real-time analytics was offering a friendly recommendation one day. You could get a customized snack that would fulfill all your dietary deficiencies and probably have it delivered to your door. Currently, studies already show that fortifying food provides a massive return on investment through lowering treatment costs, improving productivity, increasing cognition, and earnings potential. By 2050, we'll have 10 billion people on Earth, and by the time we become a type 1 civilization, we might have even more. So providing nutrition like this may help to manage global nutrition scarcity and optimize the way we live our lives. Like energy from internal combustion, there is always a percentage that is wasted in the food we produce. After all, we already grow enough food for 10 billion people. So the problem isn't production, but distribution. This issue is seen clearly in America, where the citizens throw away an average of a third of all food. But ironically, some struggle with hunger every year. Waste often occurs in unexpected ways. Of course, some food is thrown out at closing time or isn't pretty enough to get sold, but the most common way is through inefficient calorie conversion, or in other words, using a lot of calories to produce fewer calories. Our species currently grows a huge amount of food for other animals. In fact, each year, 41 million tons of plant protein is fed to other animals in order to produce a mere 7 million tons of animal protein for humans. For the sake of increasing food availability, having a reduced intake of meat may occur out of necessity in the future, but habits and tradition have a funny way of sticking around. 
To fix this, a type 1 civilization may opt in for lab-grown meat, which would require a small fraction of land, water, and resources. Current estimates to grow meat range as high as $2,400 per pound, making it much more expensive than regular meat. But with the advancements expected of a Type 1, we can expect that cost to drop significantly by then. Flavor can be quantified, and by innovating new ways to cultivate meat and making vegetables taste like it, people can preserve their preferences and better utilize the energy of their food. As civilization advances further, our relationship with food will keep evolving and become streamlined so that people can focus on other issues aside from their next meal. Unlike in the past where the majority of humans farmed, a type 1 civilization will likely have a very small number of programmers that audit the production process. We will have all the nutrients needed and we will know exactly when we need them. Not only that, but our body's fuel will finally be grown in the cities where it's actually consumed, guaranteeing more nutritious food that's also protected from the effects of climate change. It's a crazy time we're headed into, and although some of what I've gone over is theory, most of it is based off trends that are already occurring. So for the sake of putting humanity into its next stage, let's eat with energy in mind. If you liked this video, you might enjoy my other videos about Type 1 civilizations too. Make sure to subscribe for regular content, and I'll see you in the next one.